and welcome back everybody Mike here I'm telling you it is an outstanding day today it's like 50 degrees not a cloud in the sky gentle breeze things are drying up nicely not as much mud out in the woods or on the trails uh, springtime is right around the corner it won't be long all these trees will be green the grass will look green again things will start looking a lot better around here and I can't wait but anyway today we're gonna take a look at what I think may be the perfect dump trailer for your side-by-side -side or your subcompact tractor. Uh, I've had my eye on one of these dump trailers for probably a couple, two, three years maybe. And you know, I'd see them in a store or see them online and it costs a little over $2,000. So I never, I just never pulled the trigger on one. But out of all these attachments that I have now to use for the next couple years, I have a feeling this dump trailer is probably gonna be the most used of all of them. Uh, so we're gonna take a look at this thing today and I'll show you you know what I know about it so far and then we're gonna go load it up with some firewood for the first time and try it out So first I'm going to give you a little overview. This is a uh, RK by King Cutter. The dimensions of the bed on this thing, it's 50 inches wide by 70 inches long on the inside and it hauls 1.5 tons. So that's a pretty good load in this size of a trailer. Now first we'll take a look at the tailgate. This tailgate opens two different ways. Grab a hold of these here. They're spring loaded. It opens just like your tailgate on your pickup truck. So not only does it open like a tailgate on your pickup truck, it also opens like a uh, tailgate on a dump truck. This is a latch that holds it right here on both sides. I'm going to go around front, flip the lever, and I'll show you that. So here's the lever that releases the tailgate. So there's two ways to dump this trailer. First one is with this lever right here. I call this manual mode. Doing it that way doesn't take too long, uh, but there is a better, faster way, I believe. So like I just showed you, you can dump this thing manually with this pump on the front of it. Or you can bypass this pump and hook it up directly to the rear remotes on your subcompact tractor. That's what I will be doing uh, with the RK24. I think this is a perfect size trailer for that tractor, and that'll work very well running it off the rear remotes. I think this trailer was very well thought out. It's a tandem axle. It's like a walking axle. Also, if you look here, it takes a two inch ball, but it also takes a pinwheel hitch. So you see this big pin right here? There's one of those on here, and it goes through here, and you secure it with this bolt through the pin back here. It's got a grease fitting on there. What's nice about this, this thing will rotate. So you won't get your trailer or your hitch on your side-by-side -side or your tractor in a bind. I really like that. So between that and the walking axles on the back, it's pretty cool. So the sides, they are 13 inches high. The width is 50 inches and the length is 70 inches. And like I said, it uh, can carry 1.5 tons. To lower the dump bed, whenever it's in, uh, you know, you're just using a manual mode, all you do, open this up. So 
So earlier I cut some firewood up over on the other hill. So now I'm going to hook this trailer up to the side by side and I go over there and try this thing out. Well, it's uh, not clean anymore, that's for sure. The trailer pulls very well, but coming up the hill from the pond, it's uh, pretty steep, and it's still pretty muddy. So spinning in the side-by-side, uh, -side, which is why there's mud all over everything. But I'm going to uh, dump this out now. So I learned a few things on the uh, maiden voyage, so to speak, with this dump trailer. First thing I learned is it hauls an awful lot of firewood. And uh, I probably shouldn't have loaded it up that much knowing that I had to come up that steep hill from the pond up to here because it was pretty muddy. It's kind of pawing around in the side by side trying to get back up here. It's a lot of weight. Uh, I do feel confident though if it's dry out, I can go anywhere with the side by side in this trailer or the RK24 or the RK37. Won't have any problems at all. So I do know that now. When it's muddy, don't load it all the way up. Uh, second thing I learned is I need to take the tailgate off before I dump firewood. And I kind of knew that, but I just wanted to try it. I wanted to see how high I could get it before the tailgate would hit. And uh, it still had more room to go. That thing will go up to a 45 degree angle. And I didn't get it up all the way. And some of the firewood got caught up and on the tailgate. So next time I'll take the tailgate off, it should work flawlessly. Uh, but those are the two things that I learned about it. Now, what else though? I think it's fantastic. I do think it's a perfect size dump trailer for a side-by-side -side or subcompact tractor. 
I, I th I'm really going to use this thing a lot. All these attachments here behind me, I'll probably use this trailer the most. Uh, I can just see, you know, taking some rock out to some trails in some certain areas or hauling mulch around the house or even like piling up sticks out of the yard, firewood, more firewood, more firewood. I mean, I'll use this trailer an awful lot. Uh, and when it was fully loaded, I didn't have any troubles at all pumping it up by hand. However, that RK24 that I'm going to show you here in a minute, it has rear remotes on it and it's all set up. This trailer came with a couple extra hoses. I can plumb right into that tractor and it'll just power up no problem at all. That'll work really well. Uh, but I think that's it. But I do. I uh, feel pretty confident this is a perfect uh, trailer for a side-by-side uh, -side or subcompact tractor. But anyway, like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please click subscribe and share them with your friends. Thanks.